Hi everyone, welcome to AI Learn Painting. I'm Robin. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint this Van Gogh style poodle dog portrait. To get started, I have all the tools and materials ready. Just to be clear, I'm not affiliated with any of these brands. This is not an advertisement. I will be using a 12 by 16 canvas sheet, but actually my painting for today would be 12 by 12. So I'm going to mark a 2 inch line from the top and from the bottom. I will be using a disposable paper palette and all sizes of filbert and angle brushes. Identifying which paint is needed can be slightly tricky. I always do it by sections. For example, the sky part of the reference photo will need a darker blue, a lighter blue, and some yellow color. Looking at what options I have, I picked ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, and light blue permanent. The yellow would be cadmium yellow. The mountain part is mostly green color, so I will be using deep green permanent, light green permanent, and cobalt turquoise. I also need a red, which will be a lizard crimson. For the dog part, it's mostly a yellow and off-white color with some darker spots, so I will be using unbleached titanium, cadmium yellow, yellow oxide, and burnt amber. Of course, I always bring out white to lighten the shades, and paints gray and black to darken the shades. Ok, now I have everything I need. Let's start painting. For the background, to mimic the Van Gogh style, it's very important to keep his signature small and short brushes. It almost feels like the sky in his painting is moving like a wave. To get this effect, I'm going to paint the background with a blue color, then start to add small lines following the same direction and a similar pattern. When adding the small lines, remember to lightly apply pressure. You can use the tip of the angle brush for it. If you press too hard, your painting might lose the flow. Once I'm done with this darker blue color, I'm going to do the same thing using a lighter blue color, and then the same thing using the yellow color. This step is important because we need to create the depths of the sky in original Van Gogh's Starry Night. If you look closely, you will be able to identify many shades of colors in the sky. Now for the mountains. I'm going to use the same technique, first cover everything with a shade of green, then start to add small lines with darker and lighter green, and a touch of red to create contrast. But for this part, we're going to draw three lines that follows the direction of mountain range. Now for the show of the star. It can be hard to paint animal portrait, but here is a trick. Identifying the location of eyes, nose, and mouth first. Once you position them right, the dog will look alive and cute. If you have a hard time identifying the locations, you can use the help of grids. Grid your reference photo and your canvases into smaller parts. I'm going to introduce this method in details in the next videos. So stay tuned. Or you can use transfer paper or a projector. Once the eyes and nose are located, I'm going to paint dog hairs by layers. When painting animals, it's very important to know and follow the direction of the hairs. Start with near the nose and pull away from the nose. Start with the eyes and pull away from the eyes. Start with the top of the head and then go down along the lob hairs. This will be our first layer. The second layer will be similar process, still following the similar route for each brush stroke with a lighter color. But remember, don't copy and cover the first layer completely. 
You can apply as many layers as you want. I did three eventually. I also used the super light white color to highlight a few hairs and use the gray and brown color to create a few shadows. Now the hardest part is complete. The one thing left to do is to apply the exact same process for the sky and paint the clothes. For the clothes, the color is actually not exactly the same as sky. It looks a little bit gray. So I would add cobalt turquoise into the mixture just to differentiate between clothes and sky. This is my final painting. I put it in a 16 by 16 frame with a 12 by 12 mat, so I didn't even need to cut it. I know lots of people like Van Gogh and would like a Van Gogh style painting as a home decor. But also lots of people think it's too complicated to paint Van Gogh. Well, actually it's a lot easier than you thought. Throughout this tutorial, hopefully I explained things clearly so that you can start your own Van Gogh style painting at home. You can use your furry friend as a model or generate a picture using Meet Journey. If you have any questions or would like to share your creations, please leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting AI related painting contents. Thank you for watching today's video, until next time, happy painting!